Yo, 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 what is up, guys? It is your boy, Pharaoh, and today we're going to be talking about Katakuri versus Luffy and what I think Luffy needs to defeat the invincible God of Kuri because this is some first mate level business. Uh, Luffy seems to be in a worse predicament than his fight against Cracker, and even in that fight, he needed help. So, this is going to be a crazy battle, but given what he showed in the last chapter, Luffy has shown to be confident enough to take on Katakuri given the fact that he broke the mirror and challenged this man to a 1v1. Now, Luffy isn't scared of anyone, so this might just be him, you know, acting all tough. But then again, given what he showed in the last chapter, Luffy does not seem to be playing around this time. Something is definitely going to happen. We also have to remember that there is no convenience, there is no one around to help him uh, against Cracker. He's not going to get any help and no one's basically going to save him because the only people that are in top line right now are Sanji and basically Sanji and him. This is going to be a legit 1v1 fight with no help unless someone interferes or something happens. So at this point, it's a do or die. Now, I don't know if Luffy is going to win this fight because of how strong uh, Katakuri is hyped up to be, but Luffy has to somewhat hold his own against a right hand of a Yonko. Now, unlike Cracker, Katakuri seems to be more of a technical fighter who approaches things with caution and handles the situation at hand effectively. And on top of that, this man has one of the best observation hockey to date in the series, having the ability to see in the future. Uh, again, we're not sure how far he can see in the future, but we can estimate that it should be around, you know, five to 30 seconds around there and he also said like luffy will become a threat to big mom in the future again we don't really know how far his his vision um goes but it should be around there and that's overpowered when you think about it obviously during the during the tea party there was so many elements that could change the future and this is what you know capone exploited and that's why it was hard for him to stop some of the stuff that was happening and even then he did a good job of holding everything down but this isn't the case anymore this is a 1v1 fight so he only has to focus on one thing the person he's fighting also his future isn't only limited to his vision he can also hear what happens in the future it's like when he sees into the future he's living in the future and this is going to be tough for luffy to deal with and apart from just having the ability to see in the future he's also a special paramecia the mochi mochi no mi which turns him into a sticky like substance and the reason i think he's special is because you know hockey imbued attacks does not phase him and he also acts like a logia he can separate and reattach his body like a logia now a lot of people think he might be awakened which is highly possible uh because you know cracker who was below him was also awakened and probably smoothie as well but personally the reason i think he's called a special paramecia is most likely because of his base ability of his devil fruit and not his awakening his awakening might be something else we don't know but at this point we don't have enough information about what katakuri is doing with his devil fruit perhaps it's a mixture of ornament hockey and his devil fruit or observation kind of what uh kind of similar to what you know the, uh, akainu and aokiji were doing at marine ford where you know vista and uh, marco's attacks didn't hurt him and we saw that aokiji was able to evade a blow from whitebeard himself but yeah we don't exactly know what they're doing with their devil fruit but hopefully uh, katakuri explains it during this fight and so luffy may get a few pointers when he comes across individuals that have this ability in the future so we're basically dealing with someone who is basically you know untouchable so how is luffy gonna deal with katakuri now tank man is definitely out of the question because of how slow it is well i'm not sure if luffy can move in that form but then again it's a horrible matchup for someone like katakuri so i'm taking that out of the equation then we have bounce man now this is more likely of happening given that he has both speed and power but it has a horrible time limit of 20 20 i think it's 20 minutes 25 minutes and i don't believe luffy can take down a right hand in 20 minutes in fact any top tier in 20 minutes i mean luffy in gear 4 couldn't take down a nerfed do flamingo in 20 minutes talk more about katakuri who is you know on a higher level so it has to be something else so what i think luffy needs will be a speed based form that relies more on observation hockey to you know sort of counter um katakuri's future vision we saw that even if katakuri can see the future that doesn't necessarily mean he can stop what is about to happen also once katakuri interferes with a future that he's predicted that future can change depending on you know set variables for example if katakuri saw where luffy would be in three seconds that future is based on what he saw if he didn't interact with it once he interacts with it 
that future might change and given that luffy has observation hockey as well it might counter his own his own future vision to some degree i'm not saying it's going to counter it um 100 it might counter it to some degree but going back to luffy's new form that might be speed based it has to be a form that he has to be capable of sustaining longer than gear fourth a form that doesn't use a lot of you know energy stamina and one that is really fast also the fact that they are fighting in the mirror world in a sort of enclosed area this might be compatible for luffy's new form it might give him an advantage when it comes down to your surroundings in this fight he might do something like what bellamy did uh, to luffy and jaya but several times faster to the point that, that the interval between each attacks are only seconds apart which will give katakuri a harder time to predict and dodge luffy's attack again katakuri i feel like is someone that needs to be pressured in a fight to get a one-up against him if you give him time to like relax and chill he's just gonna analyze the situation at hand and he will body you now regarding methods and how to hurt katakuri as we saw in the previous chapters that katakuri uh seemingly takes no damage from hockey's well, water or slicing attacks now fire attacks may be something that actually works on his body the only attack katakuri did not tank from luffy was the red hawk usually he just sits there and takes the hits from luffy but he didn't do so for the red hawk he actually took it to himself to clash against it so that might be um katakuri's weakness when it comes to his you know his defense and perhaps he could be a way to actually damage his true body now there is another ability luffy has that we don't really know much about and that is kings or conquerors hockey even though i say this might be an observation based form there is a chance luffy might use some form of king's hockey that we haven't seen before now we have to remember that luffy over the two-year time skip uh, is said to you know he he's now specialized in king's hockey we also know that king's hockey is something that grows with the individual luffy's actions in this past chapters have been somewhat different than he usually is um he's acting more of a captain maybe a progression towards his individuality and maybe this unlocked an ability that he will show against katakuri but apart from that whatever luffy is going to show it has to be something completely new and something that can make him last against someone like like katakuri but then again just because luffy is the main character i'm not entirely sure he's gonna win this fight in all honesty i'm more for katakuri given his position as a right hand of a yonko you know this is someone who is renowned in the new world and has probably been fighting for the long uh for a long time in the new world and he's also equal to people like you know with kaido strongest calamity ben beckman marco you know basically people that are like you know borderline top tier but i still don't see luffy losing because of where the story is going but i'm just happy luffy is actually showing something new and he might pick a thing or two from you know fighting katakuri which will make him slightly stronger for enemies that he has to face in wano because that's where you know the big dogs are at but i definitely can't wait to see what happens in this fight hopefully it's gonna be epic given the setup in the last chapter a lot of people were reminiscent of you know um luffy versus luchi i didn't i didn't necessarily get that vibe but i'm just hoping it's gonna be a good fight i seriously don't know the outcome of this fight it could be it could be a win it could be a loss or you know maybe luffy there's some sort of alternative option that appears during the fight maybe he has to escape we don't exactly know at this point but it should be crazy but comment down below what you guys think like the video if you liked it subscribe and be a part of the notification squad if you want to uh if you want to see more content on this channel it is fair and we are out peace out before we end the video i just want to say we just hit 15k subs on ferro space definitely a big milestone for us you know shout out to all you guys who made this possible especially the guys that have been around since the akainu days i know a lot of people might not know what that means but this channel used to be like marco the phoenix again thank you guys for 15k subs if it wasn't for you guys i wouldn't be here appreciate the support and hopefully you guys continue to support i might do like a special stream and talk about like the origins of ferro space or something like that or a q a but i will not you guys when that happens again thanks for 15k and i will see you guys later peace